it's Monday again, so let's go and make some plans. Hi there, I'm Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, then thank you for sticking with me. So, Monday again. Wowza. How do these Mondays come up? I say it every week, don't I? It's Monday again, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> so before I launch into my sewing chit chat today, I just want to say a quick thank you to Jess from So What If I Sew. She gave me a shout out this week on her channel and I had a watch of her vlog and it was great. I loved it, Jess. If you're interested in finding out about Jess's wedding plans, she's going to be making her own wedding dress. So it is well worth watching because she's got some oh, absolutely gorgeous fabrics. So pop over to... So what if I sell and see what Jess is up to? Okay, Monday. So what did I get up to last week? Well, socially it was a fairly quiet week, to be honest, after the excitement of going to Birmingham the week before. Not really been anywhere. It's been very cold and damp here in Lancashire. So that means lots of sewing's being done, you would think. I haven't done too bad. But I've been trying to sort out the house. There's lots of little niggly bits of decorating and painting that need doing. So I've made up a list and I'm working my way around the house. That's exciting, isn't it? At my own pace, no rush. But it's obviously eating into my sewing time. So for the next few months, probably knowing me, my sewing will probably be slowing down a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. But enough of the boring DIY. What have I made this week? Before I do, I always forget to say what I'm wearing. This top is the Marigold top from the Closet Core crew membership. It's got really wide back wing sleeves and then cinches right in at the waist but and creates, I love it because it creates a waist that I didn't know I had anymore. And the, I think the contrast between the big billowy sleeves and then the cinched in waist works really well on me. And I've not made it. I made this one with big plans to make loads for the summer last year in lighter weight fabrics. And then I didn't do it. So I need to put the marigold back on my sewing plans for this spring and summer. The necklace is picked it up in a shop in Gran Canaria on the seafront and the earrings are from look at those gorgeous sparkly babies they were in my advent box that Seacon Girly Sam made for me and I believe she's made these herself so they're very special earrings right what did I make this week there's a clue I revisited an oldie but goodie for me and I've made just grab it down one of the Friday Pattern Company patina blouses I've made the long sleeve version in this fabric with the beautiful gold dobby weave through it from Beyond the Pink Door bought it in their sale I think tail end of last year maybe earlier must be earlier so they're not going to have any of it left. It's been sat in my stash for yonks. So I'm pleased to have made that up. So I followed the pattern, shortened the sleeves by a good two inches, put the cuffs on, and then I've cheated. Because I can get my hand in and out of these cuffs, oops, sorry, without actually undoing the buttons, I've just literally 
sewn the buttons on and I've done the same with the front pinned it closed first and then tried it on to see that I could do it and if you don't need to do buttonholes why bother so yeah I'd had enough to make the inside of the yoke in the same fabric which was really pleased about the length I kept the length of the pattern because it's quite cropped and I want to be able to tuck this into my black winter in London trousers so I kept it being a shorty I thought if I keep it the length it is it'll be long enough for me and it is winner winner and then I'd already made this about two three times so I thought mm, put a bit of weight on I think since I made those so I better try one of them on and it still fits but it was a bit tight around the booby area and a bit tight on the hips so I literally when I was cutting the pattern out the front pattern piece and the back pattern piece I just made them an inch wider on the outside seams and then obviously because I did that it didn't matter with the yoke because this you can't see them but there's gathering stitches where the bottom part of the back joins the yoke so there was just a bit more gathering and then I've kept the yoke and the top bit exactly as the pattern because I've got narrow shoulders and I'd already done a narrow shoulder adjustment on it so I kept that the same and just widened it from the armhole down so there we go patina blouse I feel like I've achieved something this week because I've actually made something I feel like I've not been getting much done recently but all that's going to change now the second thing that I've made this week I can't show you because it's a pogo nip so that was item number two and if you don't know we're doing the pogo knit party all throughout February and it will be revealed on the 29th on Instagram and I'll be doing a YouTube vlog all about the pogo nip at the end of the month and then this beauty is hot off the sewing machine yesterday I've used finally used my Sherpa fleece from Fabric Godmother bought it in the sale before Christmas and I've been humming and hawing what to make with it first of all I thought I wanted the Danny jacket and then it's a line the Danny's a line jacket and this is quite bulky fabric so I thought oh no that's gonna be too much then I was eat I was going to do a pogo nib in it but I had some other fabric lined up for that and then when I was sorting through all my patterns you'll see two sets of drawers there they're on the other cheap plastic ones got them from the range and they've got all my patterns in now the reason I don't have them in a fancy unit is because they're easy to move and in the summer I go down in my sewing shack in the garden and I can move all my patterns with me just take the drawers out move them down jobs are good so yeah it's not that I'm cheap and and tight they just serve the purpose that I need them for anyway so I found this pattern in my stash and the cream one there is in a Sherpa fleece it's an online jacket with side pockets just a roll collar really simple but really definitely what I was looking for and here she is so I've done the rolled collar now I think mine is a little bit shorter than the pattern because on the pattern it says that you need 2.6 meters of fabric I think P neck for that little jacket and the reason is I'll just try and find the line drawings on the back for you and then you can see it's view, this view that I've done and it's got a grow on back wing sleeve 
which means you need more fabric because all the pattern pieces are all in one and I only had a metre and a half of this so I did some pattern tetris the collar section the facing section has been cut out across the grain instead of with the grain but because it's such a busy pattern I don't think anybody is going to notice and I managed to get it out of one and a half metres instead of 2.6 and I think I've cropped it more than the pattern I had to do it the length that I could get the pattern onto the fabric if you know what I mean and although I always shorten fab um, patterns that is definitely a little bit longer than mine I'll just pop a twirl of me wearing it and then you can see what I mean I think mine isn't as long as that one but I love it it's going to get warm it's going to be my everyday throw on coat and I wanted something I was looking at zip up hoodies and things like that I've got loads of patterns for that sort of thing but I thought I want something a little bit smarter a little bit less sporty looking and this fits the bill there's no buttons in it so I didn't have the trauma I would have put and I may put some metal snaps on it if I think I want to close it but it's not meant to be closed it's just meant to be an edge to edge jacket and yeah it fits really well there's the back wing sleeve but because it's nice soft fabric it's not bulky under the arms perfect for what I was looking for so I can wear it with jeans and dress it down or I could wear it over a, dre a dress and wear it in the evening what's not to like so that's my makes for this week all done so what do I want to do next week well I'm trying not to overcommit in February because I've got the pogo knit party that I'm organising and that's taking up some of my time and I've got to sew my pogo, pogo knits as well because you know me I don't want to make one that's all I'm saying but I do want to make a couple of things well three things see over committed again we'll see the first one is a pogo knit I can't show you the fabric because it's in the wash but I've got I got it from Pound Fabrics, so if I can see a stock image, I'll put it up there. It is just some khaki fleece fabric. Just not me at all. And that's because it's not for me. It's for the hubster. I've never, ever made him anything. And he wanted a dog walking top. Well, the pogo mip is perfect for that. So this week's challenge is gonna be making him a pogo knit. Now it should be okay. He's got a top that he wears that fits how he wants it to fit. So I'll just measure that and use that as the guide for the pattern. She says really confidently. He doesn't want the elastic in the bottom. He just wants it left open. Fair enough. And other than that, yeah, it's gonna be exactly as. So I wish me luck with that one. Scared? Not scared. I could do it. I hope so then item number two is one of my winter fabrics that I need to use up because I've had it over a year and it's this beautiful pink and cream super soft check fabric and I want to make the tear jacket by Barra Studios in it I've made it before in a yellow check cotton check but I want to make one that's more more coatified this is it's not hugely thick but it's more of a coating fabric the other one was more of a flannel and I think that'll be great for throwing on in spring maybe what do you think so that's plan number two and then pamphlet and then plan number three is to use this beautiful 
cotton ribnet that I got from Minerva again ages and ages ago really nice and soft thought it's going to be great for the spring now I've only got one and a half meters I've shown this before and someone said it'll make a great billy dress that it would wouldn't it but I've only got one and a half meters there's no way I'm getting a dress out of that even my, at my height it's just not going to happen so I'm thinking of doing the whistler top I've got the pattern there's the image of it I like the cowl neck around the top and I think it's going to look gorgeous for spring in that fabric because it's a cotton knit it's not woolly but it's quite thick so that's what I'm thinking unless I change my mind but I'm making something in this fabric this week that is for sure so that's my makes my plans for this week and I've been really good she lies I went to Birmingham and bought loads of fabric and said I don't need any more well Sam and I both said the same don't need any more fabrics let's not buy anything else until we've used what we bought in Birmingham and I failed already I've <laughs> not even been over a week I'm blaming all these lovely ladies who are doing de-stashes I haven't bought anything from a shop the things that I bought are from de-stash so they are bargains they're fabrics that I've wanted and they've gone out of stock etc etc so that's my justification now some of them haven't arrived yet I've ordered some from Judy running so and so so she's doing hers on her own Instagram page so I'll have a look at Judy's I've got one coming from Becky, what Beck sells. She's doing a D stash, so whether she's got anything left or not, I don't know, but go and have a look. She's got a D stash on Instagram. And the third lot I've ordered is and has arrived is from Ruth Seamstreff Ruth. And the first thing that I got from her is this. It smells gorgeous, Ruth. Ooh, what do you put your washing in? It's beautiful. Sorry. It's a striped cotton jersey fabric. And I've got plans for it. But I'm not sure what yet because I think it's going to be used up as part of my So Frugal challenge in March so I'm going to save it for that and it's already in my stash and it's been de-stashed so that is you know double points isn't it and then the other thing I got from Ruth now you might think I'm mad I'm thinking I'm mad myself to be honest and then I think no come on you can do it this is swimwear fabric everybody goes Ooh. <laughs> but I've set myself a challenge now there are some plans in the other thing there may not just be me doing this so fingers crossed I'll have some company but I am definitely going to make myself a swimming costume or two this year now I quite like the Tilly and the Buttons Coralie I don't know if I'm saying it right Coralie that's it anyway and it's got loads of options with it you can do a costume you can do it with frills you can do it without the frills you can do it with a scoop back you can do a two-piece loads of options so I quite like that I want to make it in this now I'm thinking I either I need green don't I if I'm going to do frills on it I'm going to have to get some plain green apple green swimwear fabric so if you see any but any anywhere let me know i think i'm gonna do 
think for some fabrics I've got quite a few colours of plain so I'll have a look so yeah if I'm putting frills on I want the frills to be in the green and then there's a contrast so watch this space I go away the middle of June so I definitely want at least one made up for them so a bit of a challenge there for me because I've never made swimwear but we need to push ourselves as sewists and not just keep sewing the same things because it gets boring then doesn't it so they're my two fabrics that I've got this week and that is all that I bought apart from the ones that haven't arrived yet but I'll show you them next week they don't count this week do they so what else do I want to tell you about so you'll remember last year I started doing pattern of the week and I need to start reintroducing it again and what I'm going to do is a free pattern every week I'm not saying I'm going to make every pattern that I show but patterns that I find that I think oh yeah I'd quite like to make that I'm going to share it with you and if I make them then obviously I will share them with you as well now March is so frugal so it's no coincidence that I've started looking at free patterns again is it because I'm part of the vlogger team so I'll be doing a vlog I can't remember what day it's on I'll have to check that actually but I just want to start sharing a free pattern every week with you and this week it's from Mood Fabrics if you've never looked before mood fabrics have over 300 free patterns on their site so it's well worth having a nosy on there and i wanted some smart casual wide leg trousers and i thought right i'm gonna have a look see if i can find a free pattern we're not buying any more patterns this year i'm trying not to anyway and I found these on there, they're the live pants and I really want to give these a go. I like the idea of the emphasised, the, the stitched seam down the middle of the front. I think that's going to give it a lot of structure and they recommend that you use a stretch woven fabric and oh look what I've got from the Guthrie and Garnet remnant sale that I went to last weekend this stuff is a stretch sateen and I just thought those trousers in that with a top in that might work really rather well now they're not going to get done anytime soon we're planning ahead to March now because if it's free patterns save it to March and enter it into so frugal that's what I'm doing so I'm not giving you any more details other than that other than saying let me know if you've made the live pants do they come out true to size do I need to size up or down I know I'm gonna have to shorten them by a mile and a half but I'm used to doing that but yeah let me know I've made a couple of mood fabrics patterns up last year and they came out quite well sometimes the instructions aren't too good but hopefully i should be able to i've made quite a few pair of trousers now so i should be able to figure out what the talk the heck they're talking about well that's it Oof, i feel like i've been talking for ages and then i think i've only been talking five minutes crazy right i'm going to love you and leave you I will be back on Thursday when I'm doing a shopping my pattern stash vlog because I've now sorted all my patterns out yes. and I know what I've got. I found a load that I didn't know I had and I've not used. So we're going to go through some of those and make some plans on Thursday. So if that's something you're interested in doing yourself, set yourself the challenge. If you're like me, you're just like a magpie to patterns and you want to stop doing it, then do what I've done. Sort through all your patterns, pull out all the ones that you've never even made. And I think I've picked 12. Yeah, I have. I've picked 12 of them. And until I've made those 12 up, I can't buy another pattern.
So it's a good job. So frugals come in because they're free and they don't count. Right, I'm definitely going down. I will see you on Thursday. Take care and happy sewing. Thank you.